Hey there good people, what's going on? I'm back with another list. This year I am going to make all the lists that I make every year. This is part of that top 20 fragrances. Uh, this episode is going to be 20 fragrances I feel from the designer line. Uh, they smell pretty much niche. What do I mean by niche? More up class, more expensive in short and uh, for a budget of designer you can get uh, something that smells really, really up class. Doesn't smell like that many fragrances out there. The quality is top notch. These are some of the best designer fragrances in my humble opinion with niche quality so last year i did that 2026 months back and uh, i think i did include some great fragrances some of them made it this year some of them didn't because i have so many more fragrances so uh, this month of may <coughs> sorry may i'm trying to like, cut down my fragrance purchase because i'm trying to enjoy what i have i went insane for the last uh, five six months i've been buying a lot of fragrances so i'm running out of space but yeah i think uh, after a while you know maybe i don't know how long the break is gonna be but i'm gonna start collecting again but uh, let's show you some great fragrances so i have three honorable mentions i think these i believe are discontinued but a couple of them can be still found but check them out great niche quality first fragrance is fun defendi or fan defendi the people say different ways so the three in the line this is the uh, absolute or absolute version the darkest of the juices and these are like getting harder to find and very soon this is going to pick up very very good price tag okay like it's gonna go over two three hundred dollars so this one check out my review it's spicy i said it's close to spice bomb it's mix of that and pure malt you get like booze tobacco spices unbelievable fragrance okay this one definitely has the niche quality fan defendi assoluto check out my the whole line review that's what i do for you guys second one i'm gonna show you is <clears throat> house of prada Prada Lunar Sex Trem. Okay, this one the line is very popular from House of Prada. There are few lines. This is one of their uh, thing lost gems. I would say this is discounted long back, very hard to find, very very expensive. This one it's spicy and soapy. Sometimes you may not get the soap, but it's kind of like a dark freshness. Okay, like a it has a spiciness. A night time is very very potent. There's the longest lasting in the line. I'm just glad that I still have it. And this fragrance, uh, if you find somewhere at a good price under 100 bucks, definitely grab it. This smells like niche quality. Prada Luna Rosa Extreme. Honorable mention because it's discontinued. Third and last one is going to be House of Dior. Dior Rue Sauvage. You already knows this. This is a legendary fragrance. The new version of these, these are still available with that white sticker in the center. But this black sticker you cannot find. And this is kind of like a bergamo or lemon up top. And then I believe there's vetiver and mar. Very dark fragrance for cold weather, extremely long lasting. This fragrance doesn't smell like typical designer perfumes and not everybody can understand that dark green juice is a mythical fragrance. I love this perfume, I love this line, okay? So these three definitely have the niche quality. So time to remove this and show you the main list. All right guys, here you go. 20 fragrances uh, in the main list. Always remember this is my choice and de definitely if any reviewer make any uh, like these let's say particular this list their fragrance will be entirely different because their nose and choices are different okay and this is entirely my choice there are a lot more fragrances out there but for 2021 i am choosing these fragrances okay to show you uh, 20 designer fragrance that smells like niche first fragrance okay i'm going to show you i don't know if this one is discontinued or the other one but first one is uh, Rocky Mountain D Square He Wood, okay. Rocky Mountain Wood. Uh, this perfume has one of the nicest looking bottles, okay. Most creative looking bottles ever. It has a spiciness. It has I forget the incense. It's so good, guys. It's so woody. It's incense. It's just lovely. It got the freshness. Uh, if you wear this, it lasts all day. D Square He Wood Rocky Mountain Wood number twenty. I'll write down the names, okay. Let's put it there, okay. I think we're eventually gonna run out of space. Hopefully we don't, okay. So number nineteen my favorite fragrance i have to give it love okay this perfume you have to try from the entire line this smells really good it's simple yet elegant and i can imagine tom ford making fragrances like this very expensive le labo this house is making this fragrance okay Givenchy gentleman cologne uh, kudos well done to uh, Givenchy for making such a gem i think this fragrance is absolutely phenomenal you know like uh, try it you'll see you'll see what i mean it got iris it got some green i think vetiver perhaps then some uh, citruses amazing amazing fragrance okay very fresh clean uh, and then uplifting for summer Givenchy gentlemen cologne okay since we're running out of space i push it a little bit back next fragrance i'm going to show you uh, all fragrances they're available now okay this is lance de Guerlain edt Purum. okay uh, popularly known as leech I have the extreme version but that's hard to find but even if you get this the elegance of this fragrance the cacao patchouli chocolatey woody is just so good guys it's a bit masculine but the quality again the quality is just lovely got this 
mandarin orange up top it takes a little bit time to understand when you see it i call this more serious version of diorome line okay so this one is gerland's version of diorome gerland lance tante gerland purom edt try the edp also i think it's good next one i think this one just got discounted a while back and uh, still can be had for good pricing but this is really really good if you love creed's royal oud this is not a clone but almost the same league it smells expensive it's a little bit more expensive for other versace than other versace but to my nose this smells really good posh quality this is versace oud noir this is my backup bottle i really love this bottle it's got this dark shade of versace purom line and uh, this one smells the most expensive i love the other versace but this i think is the most expensive smelling okay versace oud noir next <clears throat> this one i'll never leave this out of this list 1821 sweet tobacco spirit man made okay this is literally a masterpiece okay if you love wine red wine if you like honey gooey honey if you like tobacco if you like a beast mode fragrance with an awesome looking bottle this is very very nice uh, some people say they cannot find this um, everywhere i think it's not really readily available everywhere but if you can order this in your uh, to your great like local shop or whoever brings fragrance from overseas they can get it for you uh, if you can score this on 100 bucks very very good fragrance amazing sweetness amazing great fragrance you know it smells like naxos uh, something of that quality for a fraction of a price 1821 sweet tobacco spirit now we have uh, i think 15 left next one recent purchases pasha de cartier this is the perfume edition i already reviewed this it got a modern barbershop feel but the fragrance basically is very uh, boozy up top it's nice it's got sweetness it's very modern it doesn't smell very dated like the old pasha but i think i love the quality in this fragrance absolute niche quality Car Pasha de Cartier perfume. Okay, so next one, we're gonna go uh, another discontinued gem. I mean, <laughs> but you know why I'm showing you this one? Sorry about that. A little bit dusty on the bot, dust on the bottle. I'm not the most uh, ready guy. Anyway, this is from House of Narciso Rodriguez. This is for him EDP or the perfum. I like the EDT, but this one I find more beautiful. Got the eye rays, got the animalic mask. It's nice. It's very, very nice quality. And longevity is pretty good in cold weathers. Bottles are just out of this world. Amazing. You do not get this kind of bottles in even niche quality presentation. Okay. So Narciso Rodriguez for him, EDP. Next. Many people will agree with me. Thierry Mugle, Pure Tonka. So this was, I think, on the last fragrances, uh, Theory Mugler release before they turn into Mugler. And I think after this, perhaps I, I could be wrong. Uh, they started, I think now they are, yeah, they are under, they changed it to, yeah, I think Mugler. Okay. But uh, I don't know. But the Theory Mugler Pure Tonka, I think perhaps discounted, I don't know. This one has the quality, longevity, staying power is really, really, really good. Okay. And it's a spicy Tonka bean, uh, smells like a gingerbread, you know, like a cookie or something like that. Christmas time, amazing. Cold weather times. It reminds me of Fave Delicious in a way, but for a budget, like a designer budget. Pure Tonka, I'm adding it this year. Next one. This is very hard to find fragrance. I don't know if it's discontinued, but I could find it in Bangladesh. So definitely try it. If you like Karina Hereda House, this is the designer that smells like niche quality. This is CH Men Insignia with the eye. And this smells like heavenly this one is the introduction of oud which makes it last a very long time uh, try out the fragrance i think this fragrance will never disappoint you at least in the performance category check out my review ch man insignia next one the detol of the game gucci guilty absolute this one got that vetiver it got the detol <laughs> it got the leather uh, at first initial spray you'll think like why did i buy this why did i need that fragrance you know like I mean, I don't see it, you know, like uh, the fragrance is a little bit daring and stuff. That's what makes it niche quality. You know, it's like not everybody's cup of tea. Smells exclusive, looks exclusive. Amazing fragrance. I think this is discontinued now. I keep saying that. Okay. Gucci Guilty Absolute getting harder to find. Now we have 10 left. Next one. Ter Dermes or Intense Vetiver. Why is in this list? Ter Dermes, Ter Dermes by itself is a legend. That's a niche quality juice, but this one is a top like a notch above the rest okay i love the rest pure perfume is good but this is modern masterpiece okay if you like vetiver if you like citruses very bright citrus lemon with that teardermis orange and then mix it with the vetiver really really uplifting very long lasting and very niche quality juice give it some love teardermis all intense vetiver next 
Prada discontinued once again yeah but still can be had for good price Prada Amber Purim already spoken enough time about this one try it out it's a masterpiece soapy luxury in a bottle of designer fragrance absolute class amber freshness and uh, the soapy feel fresh clean masculine doesn't not no other fragrance smells like this one okay Prada Amber Purim you have to have this perfume Next one, discontinue, discontinue, discount, all discontinue. Why are discounting all these great fragrances? Get a bottle before it becomes rare. Cartier, Declaration d'un Soir. Check out my review on this, you understand why. This is one of my most favorite perfume of all time, based on rose and given, I don't like rose that much. Uh, that one is pink pepper, rose, and San Lude. There is like no introduction that is as gorgeous as Cartier Declaration d'un Soir. Absolute masterpiece. Next. This is Davidoff Amber Blend, the whole blend line. I could show you the whole blend line, just picking up one, just to represent the whole blend line. Apart from the wood blend, the rest of them, the, what's the other one? Eger blend, leather blend, leather blend, amber blend. These three are masterpiece, like niche quality juice. Again, if you love amber, spicy, sweet amber, lasts a long time, unisex, try it out. Look at the bottle, it's very beautiful too. Davidoff Amber Blend, it can be had still for good prices. Next, Tom Ford, Noir Femme. No surprise, it made the list. Uh, I, If I did not have this, I would show Noir Extreme uh, for men, which I also have. But this, actually, I'm craving for a little bit more. It's a little bit more uh, sensual. It's, you know, the Kulfi note is there, but it's a little bit more floral. And it's just a little bit waxy. I like that. Mysterious, very long-lasting. And I love this perfume, Hidden Gem. Okay, definitely Tom Ford made a big mistake but no, by not including this in there private collection Tom Ford Noir Femme so we have five left okay what are the top five what are the top five fragrances that could be in this list next one Tom Ford back to back this is Tom Ford Gravity where you can get the EDT you can get the EDP but I think EDP is a little bit more uh, longer lasting and depth is a little bit more EDT is more citrusy and a little bit more sparkly okay Grey Vetiver what's great about it if you know any fragrances that has vetiver note the top tier niche fragrances okay uh, they smell very close to this okay that's what makes this the quality of tom ford it's very sophisticated very high class and it it's not super ex it's cheap it's still expensive like the highest designer prices but definitely worth the money tom ford gray vetiver edp next fragrance my favorite favorite fragrances is featured today once again ck euphoria amber gold man uh, i created a hype on this i i seen few other reviewers giving it love Beautiful juice color, okay? And this is perhaps CK is one of the best fragrances they ever released and discontinued like big mistake. Why? This one has essence of few fragrances in my humble opinion. Some people say Bentley for Man Intense. I get that vibe a little bit, okay? It got the beautiful honey that you get in Naxos. You get this 1820 wet, 1821 sweet tobacco spirit or you get in Pure Havan or some of the great honey notes. It's in there. Beautiful honey with a lot of spices and amber. And there's cinnamon, okay? And the fragrance reminds me of uh, Tom Ford's Amber Absolute, which is long gone, very expensive. If you like all those fragrances, get it in one bottle for, I think, under 45 bucks or 40 bucks, okay? This is definitely niche quality without any doubt. Next, Tom Ford sort of ruling this list. Uh, Tom Ford, this is Boudi Jour. Now the, under the designer line, it used to be niche. The bottle is very classy. I love these bottles. I love Costa Zura. I love a lot of these new releases. This one is absolute heaven for um, lovers of, what's that note? Not violet. <laughs> lavender. It features some of the best lavender, lavender notes with a hint of citrus up top. Very elegant, very lovely. And it's well tailored, man. An absolute class. This is, this screams like class okay Sm smells very expensive so that makes it niche quality two more left i always am confused if this house is designer niche but someone told me this is designer this is mason martin margiela by the fireplace i'm so glad i have this this year to feature it um if you don't have it buy it okay thank me later people who say this fragrance does not last this fragrance does not um i don't know that smells special okay okay no comments but if you get a sample you'll see what i mean there is no fragrance as good as this in this category okay that's it number one you guys know my you guys know my passion for this perfume you guys know my sickness or whatever obsession this is diorum intense 
no 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 uh, competition no doubt and no hesitation absolutely none of these fragrances i have any doubt to say these are niche quality in my humble opinion uh, some of them are a little bit more expensive than the rest of them but they're all worth the money so let me know which ones are your favorites which one do you think uh, i missed but you love um, or you know uh, you think should be added in the list or you really really enjoy uh, that smells like niche quality and have a nice day i'll see you soon bye bye